depression is regulated by a series of very predictable patterns. Some of them are cognitive patterns such as global cognitive style or overgeneral thinking. Some of them are relational patterns of people taking a victim perspective in their relationships or a victim role in their relationships. Some of them are behavioral patterns, some of them are emotional patterns. So as somebody walks in, sits down and starts to tell me what they're experiencing, and, and maybe, the, maybe the reference point for this should be a session that everybody can actually watch so they, they can see what I do, okay. but right. hear me describe it. And that's the this, this session with a, a fellow named Mike, a 34-year-old man who has been depressed his entire life. I, I start by asking what the person wants help with. They start telling me what's been going on. And invariably, as they're telling me about these past episodes of things that have been hurtful to them, things that they haven't been equipped to deal with, ways that they've approached things that have worked against them, I start asking a series of questions that invariably begin with how. You'll notice right away I'm not asking why, I'm not looking to interpret the meaning of the person's depression. I'm trying to understand what isn't this person able to do that is working against them.